today the lord has given a promise word through jesus christ do you love to listen the promise word yes father okay then listen john chapter 6 was 37 john 6 37 this is going to be fulfilled the lord says those who come to me that means you are logosians come to jesus those who come to me i will not abandon them nor reject them i will not send to them empty handed it's a wonderful promise those who have come to me i will not forsake them i will not abandon them i will not reject them but i will send them back not empty handed so those who have come to this online ministry and being present here at the end of the residential retreat the lord says to you you have come with christ sorrows difficulties i will not send you back empty handed apostles were in the boat their boat was empty their heart was empty and their bank was empty that is luke chapter 5 verse 7 jesus said those who are in my visibility they will not be sent empty handed jesus said lower down you are net at the right side they did it they got a wonderful catch lord of fish and they signaled to other partners they fill two boats they had only empty boats now two boats are full empty net now their net is full about to break and also they have enough resources now and their heart is also full with jesus christ such a person comes to our life they all said my god yahweh what you have done to us such kind of prophet comes to our boat so they left everything and entered into the boat of jesus into the mission of jesus amen amen thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. what is the promise lift up your hands the lord has seen your troubles sorrows difficulties anxiety fear depression you have come empty handed empty heart empty bank the lord is sent you back with the full of blessing for you and for your friends amen two boats are full you are full and the people around you are also full amen the lord keeps this promise in the life of the apostles thank you lord thank you lord praise you lord praise you and lord. Uh, this kind of blessings we have received and that is proved by testimonies anissa from dubai kindly stand up alissa fernandez from dubai she has come last year with an empty mind because very difficult to complete her examination and studies she is in cbsc then she attended one full week retreat her head is full with the wisdom heart is filled with the joy she is not sent out from this place empty handed but she went and she did her examinations and she got an a good percentage beyond of her expectation praise the lord praise the lord those who come to jesus jesus will not send them empty handed kindly uh, she is standing there lifting up your hands and lisa and glorify the lord thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. so this year she has come to thank the lord for a success that he has given amen so all of you are going to be blessed according to the promise word today make the sign of the cross on your body your body is the temple of the holy spirit sanctify it by the sign of the cross in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen let us worship jesus together with all his creation together with his father and mother together with his angels together with all the logosians according to luke chapter 2 verse 16 together with mary joseph and the creation they all worshiped jesus 
Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of of all our intentions mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be worthy of all promises of christ so there are people who have come to jesus with empty handed and also prayed for other people they are also being uh, blessed testimony number 2 uh, selvin pereira from mumbai that baby in the womb of the mother miraculously protected and uh, discharge already started several complications diagnosed so the doctors going to terminate the pregnancy immediately prayed one divine mercy chaplet and decided to do icu prayer the same doctor said now something happened in the child the discharge stopped complications disappeared the doctors declared it is a miracle and my wife was discharged immediately thank you jesus amen amen so the prayers that you offer going to do it in future even though you have not done it now but god knows that you will fulfill it in advance what you are going to do that is also remunerated amen amen so their uh, mind was empty heart was empty what to do next unknown but the child is going to lose the life in such kind of critical situations you can apply in the icu prayer intensive care unit prayer from page 102 in our prayer book so the lord gives you this promise when you come to me i will not send you away empty handed you can trust on this promise because this is given by jesus the one who has given this promise is already alive that one who has given the promise is still alive and he has the power to fulfill it if he has no power or no resources to fulfill it he will not give a promise the one who has given this promise has the resource to fulfill it that is our confidence to approach jesus and ask him lord what you have promised please give it to me then don't think the other way you have promised to that family or to that man or that abraham or isaac or jacob what does it for me no it is written first corinthians chapter 9 verse 10 first corinthians chapter 9 verse 10 it is written what is written in it if it is not for you it is only for that people or those people it is not written what is written what was spoken to them what is written in this book it is written for you too you do you believe it yes father it is written in the bible first corinthians chapter 9 and 10 is it not written for us also if it is a personal revelation a personal message it would not be written in this book what is written in this book what is this book Holy bible. Uh, in this book in the book it is for you amen amen and it is for me next day tomorrow or next hour you must give a testimony hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus there is a saying don't count the chicks before it is hatched but that is not applicable to jesus amen amen <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus eggs are only possibilities but jesus has actualities amen. he has promised you can count on it how many eggs are there how many intentions are there that many chicks are going to come out. 
Extend your hands towards Jesus. Trust in Him, in the person of Jesus. It's so wonderful to trust Him. Don't trust the hoards. Don't trust the silver or gold. Don't trust the human persons who have promised you many things. You will be depressed. You will be ditched. But you can trust in a person called Jesus of Nazareth. Trust Him. Jesus, I trust in your mercy. Jesus, I trust in your mercy. Three times. Jesus, I trust in your mercy. Jesus, I trust in your mercy. Then, Jesus, I trust in you. 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 Jesus, I trust in you and your mercy. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands because Psalm 20, verse 6 says, Psalm 20, verse 6, three things the Lord gives you. First, I will help you, my child. I will help you. Second, I will give you the answer of your prayers. Third, I will give you great victory. Success and victory. Three things he has promised. The reason that he has seen you as his apple of an eye. Apple in his eye. Deuteronomy 32.10 Deuteronomy 32.10 he will keep you as the apple of eye. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. And sustain you. And I have seen you in a wasteland. You are useless. But I have seen you. And I have shielded you. And I cared for you. Guarded you as the apple of his eye. This is about Jacob. He ran away from his family. He ran away from his mother's house, father's house, fear of his brother. He ran away. And he was in the wilderness. He was on the way to his uncle, Laban, the brother of his mother. And he has to walk all alone through the desert. And no guarantee that he would reach there without being caught by animals. But God appeared to him in the wilderness when he was in Param Adam. God appeared to him and told him, Jacob, this is Bethel. This is house of God where you are now. But it's a desert. But you are in Bethel. Genesis 28 to 17. This is Bethel. This is a house of God. Nothing else. This is a house of God. Bethel. So now you are in a desert or abandoned, depressed, nothing good in your life. But the Lord considers you in this condition, in this present situation. And he loves you as the apple of his eye and gives you three promises, three guarantees. Deuteronomy, in the Psalm 20 verse 6. Psalm 20 verse 6. I'll help you, my child. When you pray to me, I will give you the answer through this 3 o'clock adoration. And I give you victory. 